ever felt like you're sprinting through life, working hard, but never really getting ahead financially? Well, you're not alone. But what if I told you there's a time-tested strategy that can really help you save and invest for the future? I'm Adam, and welcome to Destination Wealth. working paycheck to paycheck and just not having enough money to put into savings. Everything's going towards bills, family, food, whatever. And it's a struggle. If you can relate to this, you're not alone. There's lots and lots of people in the same boat as you. And as was I when I started. Something that'll help you achieve the financial independence that we all want. We're going to delve into the timeless wisdom of paying yourself first and how it can really, truly transform your financial future. It did for me. It's a valuable lesson that I learnt and discovered from many wise investors that have done it in the past and proved its success. It's a wealth accumulation lesson that really transformed the way I thought about investing and saving for the future. And it's done things for me that I just couldn't imagine possible. I'm sure by the end of this video, you'll be enlightened with a passion to do exactly the same. As a young investor, I made it my task to find out and learn as much as possible about investing and becoming financially free and having a secure future. And luckily, early on, I discovered the mindset power of paying yourself first and how that can really propel you towards a life of financial freedom. I found that many well-known, wealthy individuals followed this same path. And paying yourself first really resonated with me, sparking a lifelong curiosity about financial freedom, investing, passive income and securing the ability to pursue hobbies, passions, without worry of how much it's going to cost and you know, whether it's going to impact my day-to-day -day life. In its simplest form, paying yourself first is, at its core, basically paying money from your bank account to your savings before you pay any other bills or spend any money on anything else as soon as your paycheck hits your bank account you're setting aside a portion of your paychecks portion of your salary to secure your future financial freedom but it doesn't just stop there you can't just put in a bank account and save it at the low interest rates that are currently available you have to invest it you have to make your money work and earn more money it earns money while you sleep and uh, we'll go into how you can do that easily or in more in-depth investing in stocks and shares in a later video. Perhaps the most important part of paying yourself first is not so much the amount you're paying, the amount you're investing each month. It's the consistency of doing it. So the fact that you make it come out your bank account as soon as you're paid without fail, without you even seeing it, after a while, you won't even notice it. And one of the most important parts is you never, ever stop that payment. And each year you increase it where if you get a pay rise, a bonus, you add it in and you always increase that payment and never stop it. Saving a small portion of your paycheck each month, but regularly every month can snowball into amazing amounts over a long period of time especially if it's invested the right way. And we'll look closer at this in a future video with regards to dividend investing and reinvesting those dividends, what they are, how they can really snowball and compound year after year, making money for you without you really having to do anything. It's all about developing a habit of being an investor and a saver rather than just a spender like most people. And that's a difficult thing to transition into. But once you start seeing the benefits of it and what starts to come back and how it starts to grow, it becomes addictive and you become more addicted to saving money and investing and growing it 
than you do spending it on junk you may never use that you're not even interested in five minutes after you've bought it. Luckily, I stumbled across this philosophy, if you like, 10, 15 years ago, and it's just transformed the way I invest and the way my net worth has grown over the years to levels that if you would have told me I'd be at, if you would have told me 10 years ago, I would not have believed that it would have been possible. With a regular job, you know, investing 10, 15% of my salary, which has just grown every year. I've increased it every year. It's just incredible how much you can accumulate with consistency. It's allowed me to indulge in hobbies I never thought I'd be able to afford to do. Travel several times a year with the family, pay off the mortgage and just do the things I want to do. I've still got a job, a job I really enjoy, but I still pay in and increase it every year. So by now you're probably wondering how can I implement this to make it simple and easy to follow without me having to think about it. Well, the answer is simple. You just automate it. You set up a standing order from your bank account the day you're paid or at least the day after you're paid to go directly into a stocks and shares ISA or a SIP. And you set that up so it comes out straight away before any other bills, any other payments come out. The same amount each month. And then you can increase that every six months. You can increase it or you can increase it at the end of each year when you get a pay rise. If you get any bonuses, never reduce it. Just always pay the same or keep increasing it every year. That's really important. You basically make it non-negotiable. Paying yourself first for your family's future, for your future, for your financial independence in later life, it's got to be non-negotiable. You can't rely these days on just state pension to live. It's just not going to be enough for you to really enjoy life. So you just have to make that effort and put it away every month. Just think of it like this. The most important recipient of your hard-earned cash is you and your family and securing your future. And by increasing them payments every year when you get a pay rise or a bonus can really help snowball that. And the earlier you start this or the younger you are when you start it, the less you have to put in at the beginning. This all comes down to compound interest, which we'll get into later on. So please do like and subscribe this. Leave any comments below if there's anything you'd like me to talk about. And if you'd like to see how I went from zero savings up to over £300,000 now in investments. Investments that paid me a passive dividend income of well over £1,000 last month. Then check out this video. See you soon.